Hello, I'm Melissa Stone and I'm a social worker with Bloomington, Indiana Police Department. My role with Bloomington Police Department is to be another resource for officers as they work with people in the community. Sometimes that means I ride along and respond to whatever calls they are responding to. Sometimes that means I'm called on scene, maybe to work with somebody who is suicidal or is experiencing a mental health crisis. So a lot of times my role is following up after an interaction. So officers see that there's something deeper going on and they forward that person's contact information to me. And then I reach out and I do some case management figure out what they have in place as far as services go already, what services they might need, how I can get them connected to resources that maybe they don't know about. And that includes me not only saying, hey, let's get you connected to this resource, but really following through to make sure on both sides that the connection was made and that the resources are being put in place. I can also do brief therapy. I am a licensed therapist as well. and can provide some interim help to people after a traumatic event while we're waiting on something more long term. I also get to play a role in community engagement. So I get to go to events that the police department puts on to kind of build police and community relations. And I really love doing that and getting to know the members of the community and really build that relationship between the community and the police department. I also spend a lot of time working with other agencies in our community to build better systems to improve services for people. This is a very community collaborative role. I work with whoever it is in the community that can really improve the quality of life for our members here in Bloomington. And I also get to do some stuff within the department. So I help plan the crisis intervention team training, which is mental health training um, for our police officers. And I get to provide some of the training within that, that class as well, which has been really interesting. And I also get to help and support officers and their families. I chose the career and the field of social work because I grew up just noticing and experiencing inequalities and social structures that really harm people or affect the way people get to live their lives. I wanted to not only help people get through those types of things and those barriers to help them live better lives, but I also want to be able to advocate for systems to be changed at a state, national, local level, and those um, our values of social work. So you get to work one-on-one -on -one with people, but you also have the responsibility to go and change actual systems that are causing the problems. You get to give a voice to people who might not really be heard sometimes and maybe feel like they aren't heard at times. And I really find power in giving people their voices back. And that's something that social work can do for you. Um, Specifically with the police department, I have just really enjoyed working with serious mental illness and I've enjoyed working in crisis, um, but also I love the intersection of criminal justice and social work because there are a lot of times where people get into the criminal justice system and really just need support. And having a social worker in these types of scenarios can be really helpful. So this job really just brings all of the things that I really enjoy together. The job I do doesn't necessarily have an international component in that I get to travel around the world because I have this job. Sometimes you can if you're doing uh, presentations or if you're giving speeches and things like that. Um, but what you do need in this job that is in the multicultural range is being able to understand different cultures. As you might imagine, police departments, officers, they work with people of all different types of backgrounds different cultures, different ethnicities, races, different religions, and all of those people bring a different set of values. So I might be working with somebody who views mental illness in a different way just because of their religion or their ethnicity or where they grew up. 
or maybe if I'm working with a family member after a death, I can see that they're, the way they want to arrange a funeral or the way they want to honor their loved one is not what I've ever experienced before. So knowing that there could be differences and acknowledging those differences really bring international and cultural uh, pieces to this job. And they're so very important if you're trying to build a relationship with somebody and make sure that they are getting everything they need um, based on their beliefs. Multicultural skills that are really necessary in the field of social work include the ability to build rapport and trust quickly with people who might be a lot different from you. So I have to realize that maybe not all people are going to look at things the way I do or even do things the way I would do, but that's okay. And I have to be willing to push my own beliefs aside so I can make sure this person is getting everything that they need. You also really need good active listening skills. Um, and it's not just hearing to then be able to respond, right? You're really trying to listen to what the person's saying and kind of read between the lines, right? So you need to be good at summarizing what somebody said. You need to be able to reflect back um, what somebody said to you um, to make sure that you're really truly hearing and the other person realizes that you really truly are listening. You need to be able to manage numerous projects and cases at one time and be able to prioritize which of those are the most important in the moment. As with many jobs, there's never enough time in a day to get everything done. And so many of my cases are just high need, high priority. There's always something that needs to be done. Uh, but I do need to prioritize every day um, what can be done today and what can wait till the next day. Um, and you have to be really good at being able to manage those things with constant things just popping up all the time. This is definitely not a job where I sit in an office, you know, 8 to 9 a.m. and then 9.30 to 10.30 a.m. People come in all the time, right, just based on when a police call happens. And there are some skills that I wish I would have learned as a student or at least learned more about as a student that could help me more now. I've done additional training on these since then um, just to try to build those skills. Uh, one of those things is grant writing. So in the field of social services, there's not a lot of money um, but if you know how to find a grant, if you know how to write a good grant and know how to keep the statistics to keep that grant going, you can also you can get more funding and that's super important at times, especially if you're trying to start a new program. And then I also wish I would have done more program evaluation. So I'm the very first social worker in this role at the Bloomington, Indiana Police Department. So I'm keeping all kinds of data and stats to make sure that I can show what I'm doing is working. Um, and then if you're doing a new program or if you're trying out something new, you really need to be able to prove with data and numbers um, that what you're doing is working. So more experience in that would have been great as well. The biggest piece of advice I give every student that I ever talk to is to find a job, an internship, a volunteer opportunity in the field that you're looking for um, that is out of your comfort zone. So yeah, maybe if you want to be a social worker and you know you want to work with kids, okay, try to find an opportunity that is not kid related. Try something in aging, try something at a prison or in work release. Um, just try something that is out of your comfort zone. I know that I took a chance on interning at a place at a work release facility and then at a prison and it's changed my whole career in terms of what I really found to be interesting and what I really found to be valuable for me. Um, be as open-minded as possible when you're looking for these opportunities. And it's true, maybe you know you wanna work with kids but you try an opportunity at a nursing home and you realize it's still not your fit. That is okay. But you're also building new skills or you're challenging the skills you already know and those are all very important so i would just say get out there and try different opportunities something that really stretches you while you have the opportunity 
And the other piece of advice I would do right, I would give students who want to go into this field right now is practice right now being a better listener. It's easy to be a talker or it might be easy to feel like you want to fix somebody's problems. But I would say 80% of my cases um, really just need somebody to listen to them. They feel like they haven't been heard before or they haven't been able to tell their story before. So really truly being able to listen without the expectation of immediate response is very important. Thanks so much for taking this time to watch this video about what a police social worker does and good luck with any path you choose going forward.